Julian Keeler, and I want to introduce you to what I believe is going to be something that will change the way the church has been doing things over the last many years. I believe without a doubt that God is constantly opening the windows of heaven to give ideas and to pour out innovation and new things for his children. It's going to make a difference when you can speak on a phone and see a child who's able to eat because you're speaking on the phone, to see an orphan able to go to school, to see a widow be able to pay for her mortgage or her rent, to see the church go to a new dimension financially. That's what we're all about. That's what Zion Cell is about. That's why we say Zion Cell, he near to. This, is, this one is yours. This is yours. I hope you join Zion Cell today. God bless you. Hello, my name is Kambua and I am here at Deliverance Church Umoja with Bishop Masinde. Bishop, it's an honor to be here. Thank you. And thank you for your time as well. God bless you. Um, I happened to just get here when I, and saw a lot of kids moving around here at the compound. Maybe you can tell us um, what it is that DC Umoja is doing with the children um, as well as other projects that you have that have helped the community here in Umoja as a church. Uh, well, Deliverance Church, Umoja, we are an apostolic base. Right. But uh, being an apostolic base means we are a church uh, that operates with an apostolic mandate in the community. Mm. We are committed to transforming the community in which we are in. Right. Not only uh, transform it spiritually, but holistically. Mm -hmm. So as a ministry, we are involved in schools. Mm -hmm. We are involved in... Um, uh, medical field mm -hmm. and many other things that we do to bless the community uh, that we are around. In fact, we yes. believe mm -hmm. we are blessed uh -huh. to be a blessing right. to, our, to, the, to one another, mm -hmm. to the church, mm -hmm. to, the nation, to our community, mm -hmm. to the nation of Kenya, yes. and to the world. Mm -hmm. The King School mm -hmm. Nairobi mm -hmm. is, uh, is run right. by Deliverance Church Moja. Right. That is our project. Mm -hmm. In fact, an offshoot of that very soon uh -huh. will be having the King's College in Nairobi, mm -hmm. where we, which will be high school mm -hmm. and beyond. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, already a visit that has been running mm -hmm. for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. We just, uh, beginning of this year, we opened a second one, mm -hmm. a youth-friendly VCT mm -hmm. that will cater to the young people. Mm -hmm. uh, so partly, practically, those, those are some things we're involved in. Right. So now with the um, introduction, with the help of the Zion Cell, what do you think um, DC Umoja can do even better or more? Um, how do you think this will be of added uh, benefit to your church? The idea of Zion Cell mm -hmm. is very useful for the church. Mm -hmm. Because number one, this is the first time a major corporate body is recognizing that part of their customer base mm -hmm. are people who belong to churches like ours yes. that are working very positively in the community right. and by plowing back some of their profits through the church mm -hmm. it will enable the church because they are, to be honest there are some things the church mm -hmm. does mm -hmm. which assist the central government in their role mm -hmm. of elevating poverty yes. lack of education mm -hmm. lack of medical facilities mm -hmm. and stuff like that mm -hmm. and then there are some things that if you look at it at the end of the day only the health church will do yes. um i keep on telling people the church is not anti-development because seriously speaking, Kambua, yeah. some of the best schools in this country yeah. were started by the yeah, church. church some true. of the best medical centers yeah. were started by the yeah. church. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I find someone who went to Alliance High School, mm -hmm. trying to say, what has the church done? And I want to look at him and say, he went to a school that was built by the tithes of right. people, God's yeah. people. Yeah. Some of them were born in mission hospitals. Yeah. And then today you can, I mean, it's like, you are forgetting that yeah. without the church, yeah. some of the hospitals, mm -hmm. schools, call, even universities, yes. talk about Oxford University, I was mm -hmm. just there the other day. Mm -hmm. That was the, the, Wesley, uh, the Methodist Church yes. established that college. Mm -hmm. You go to some of the best universities, whether it's Harvard, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. They were started as yes. church institutions. Yeah. Yeah. Even the Paris, mm -hmm. not uh, about uh, Notre Dame. These were all done by churches. Right. Therefore, we need to appreciate the role of the church mm -hmm. and there are places the church would go yes. uh, to, in assisting the government of the day. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure the government appreciates mm -hmm. what we're able to do. Mm -hmm. And I thank God. Mm -hmm. Like you go to Turkana, for example. Mm -hmm. What All Vision has done mm -hmm. in that uh, in the Moreland project mm -hmm. uh, with the 
irrigation and all that. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's no farming in that area yeah. where that project is on. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the church has been on the cutting edge, mm -hmm. on the forefront mm -hmm. of, and with this kind of assistance coming from Zion ah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I see churches going. Mm -hmm. It's like a, an MP. Mm -hmm. A wise MP mm -hmm. with a CBA fund mm -hmm. should go far. Mm -hmm. A wise pastor yes. with Zion yes. should be able to do more, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to transformation of society. Zion said, he in the Zion he in the I want to call on my fellow church leaders, bishops, pastors, evangelists, let us come on board with Zion Cell. Together, we shall be able to transform our society in a more powerful way. Zion Cell, he near to. Zion Cell, he near to.